what is up guys we have another market watch today to start it off here we're going to talk about of course the 2024 tins dueling mirrors actually not doing that bad guys so if we look at the previous three years trends the tins usually you know like trend wise go down in price after pre-sales definitely and then long term they they're they don't do well msrp wise because people don't want to buy them they don't want to open them up uh, for whatever reason, right? It could be horrible pull rates. It could be the cards in them suck. It can be many, many reasons, really. We don't know the reason, but we, what we do know is the metrics that, yeah, they don't do well long term. However, this set in particular, $193 uh, a month into the product, 18 listings. God damn, guys. This uh, was close to breaking $200, which is, you know, MSRP is about $180. So at $193, it's already $13 above MSRP a month in, breaking $200 almost. And once these listings go away, guys, I mean, there's not that many listings. And even the first couple listings, there's, there's not that many, not much quantity wise. Once these disappear, we're sitting at $194 and then 197 okay oh, this guy this guy's really the trooper here 118 wow you, you how do you even store 118 cases guy oh man but now look, let's go look at the singles right because i know a lot of you guys are holding out and i'm actually going to be here in the contrary and if you want to open up this product maybe buy a case as soon as possible and i've actually seen prices cheaper on ebay so definitely check out ebay shop around because 193 dollars seems like a lot to me but if you are waiting especially especially waiting for what bonanza has in store for us uh maybe don't wait because it seems like the teases we've get we've been getting at least they're all pretty nostalgia heavy which isn't a bad thing in any sense but if you're hoping for uh, an sp for example another sp reprint maybe you're just holding your breath unnecessarily now sp in particular has gone down in price so that's good but there are other cards in here that have gone up in value like emblema oath this card i think doubled in price since release which is crazy and it's only 16 listings currently as well so what what will the price be right after actually you know what after this it's 19 bucks actually this is this this guy's holding the line here but after that it's 20 whole dollars oh my god dude it almost tripled him it's so close to being triple value god damn i actually kind of regretting selling some of these copies now i ain't even gonna lie all right bonfire you know kind of it's it maintained its value i mean the graph kind of looks like it went down but it's it kind of maintained value. It lost maybe like three bucks. Not that bad. Then uh, all the other center ion, you know, core, if you want to call it that, has gone up in price as well. This one, yeah, about double as, eh, a little less than double. But my point being here, 14 listings as well. Holy, this is on track to be a $20 freaking card here. My point here, guys, is this, this set definitely didn't flop and there is some demand in here for whatever reason right it could be some nostalgia stuff because i'm sorting by best selling the best selling is the second best selling card is with blue eyes of course nostalgia but there's a lot of good meta cards in here that people were were forced to wait for and they gotta buy it right and it seems like bonanza from the teases we've been seeing it's it has not much to do with with meta stuff at least the teases we've gotten so far so maybe don't hold your breath and, and just bite the bullet here if you really want to play a deck because you don't know what the future is going to hold. Maybe what, what you've been holding off on will double in price and even triple. Anyways, back to this set. Crimson Dragon is another card that has kind of been going up in value, which is understandable. We have 100 cards in this set, guys, uh, for Prismatic Secret Rare. So it's very hard to pull exactly what you want. Go watch, like, basically uh, pick any random video from my channel for the from the past month or so. I've been op opening up this product uh, like crazy. I think I've only pulled one. So like seven or so cases, I've only pulled one of this. It's not necessarily because it's short printed. It's just that there's so many Prismatic Secret Rares included in the set that it's just insanely crazy hard to get because of the odds, right? Like one, in, one out of 100 chance of getting this card or so. I think there might be a slightly more uh, than 100 Prismatic Secret Rares though. 
Anyway, so Typhoon kind of going down in price. Expected Dark Magician Girl alternate are expected to go down in price as well. More people are opening it up. It seems like this set, a lot of meta players are opening up and just selling the nostalgia stuff, which I'm kind of doing the opposite, to be honest, and I'm kind of making out. So, uh, yes, but definitely don't overlook the set. Cosmic Blazar Dragon also went up in price. Like, there's there's a lot of goodies in here, guys. I know, yes, the, am I saying the set is good? Not necessarily. Am I saying uh, that Konami didn't fuck up? Also, not necessarily. I was one of the bigger criticizers of the set, but you can't you can't overlook the set, man. I was also criticizing Terminal Revenge, by the way, basically for the same reasons. It was sh there was short printing stuff or not including as much crap, right? Like I think the the Phantom of Ubel was like three per case, and then they made the the blue eyes, the new blue eyes QCR, like idiotic shit. But that worked out for them because now Terminal Revenge is going terminal, and it's like a thousand dollars or so per case. Insane stuff. Anyways, moving on from that, Shooting Majestic Star Dragon. This card I've been seeing, uh, not necessarily buyouts, but like it, this caught caught my eye because it's a Ceph, it's a card from a main set that didn't get a reprint in the what like 2022-2023 tin and uh it hasn't gotten so it hasn't gotten a reprint and i don't see it getting a reprint anytime soon so uh if you need it you know pick it up it's at eight dollars currently after that it seems like it's going to be like 12 13 or so dollars so yeah definitely you know take a look at it if you're playing a deck that needs it meteor black comet dragon is another one this this video is mainly like weird nostalgia bait crap that i've seen that's kind of going up going up in price or kind of selling and this is another one meteor black comet dragon doubled in price guys in about a month don't know why but if you need it go ahead and buy it before it goes to what eight nine dollars uh, after this, what is it? Uh, da, 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 about 12 bucks on the second page. Don't wait. If you need it, buy it. Probably not going to be reprinted soon. It's cards like these two, typically, you know, they, they don't get reprints consistently. So go ahead. The other thing that that's weird that caught my eye is Ultimate Dragon of Pride and Soul got to the $170 range, actually. Let me see if I can pull that. Because, I mean, yeah, 106, uh, the memes, $169.99. What are you guys doing? That is crazy. It has stabilized, you know, it's uh, at 100, not, not, not 100 anymore, $79. So if you think it's cool, if you want to add it to your collection, maybe think about adding it as soon as possible so it doesn't go back to $100. You know, just like an FYI heads up there. Dark Magician Girl has been going up in value, Titty Cell. This is from the 2022 tin, alternate art. It is, I think one of, uh, it should be like the creator's uh, like own artwork or something. I forgot what's special about this. Maybe it's cause it's like a, an anniversary artwork. Anyways, listings are disappearing, right? It's a 14 or so bucks and it doubled in price. Um, uh, maybe not, maybe not. The, the graph kind of makes it look worse. It gained about four bucks within a, about a month and a half so if you would like the artwork pick it up as soon as possible same thing with the like all the tins in general there's there's short prints or just the the sheer amount of prismatic secrets make things hard to get so things in, in tins are usually scars which increases the value of this card moving on here clockwork night oh my god so uh, the T the OCG released or teased this in the upcoming Supreme Darkness set. We're getting that in January 26th, I believe, or 24th. And this card is going to be a searcher, I believe, for the Clockwork Knight. So let's go ahead and read it. So one non-link machine monster with a thousand or less original attack. You can only use the first second effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card slings summon, you can send one face-up continuous spell you control to the graveyard, add one Clockwork Knight from your deck to your hand, okay? So that's the searching effect. Uh, effect number two, you can target one machine monster with a thousand or less attack in your graveyard, tribute one other machine monster, and if you do special summon the targeted monster in defense position. So I, I guess it, it helps recycle other machines and you can sacrifice this card itself. The whole point of it is it searches this, this card, right? And that kind of uh, made it go a little bit terminal here. Uh, it has been sitting comfortably at mid mid teens here. And that 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 the new tease really did kind of jumpstart things. So if you think you're going to be using it, if you find it interesting, go ahead and pick it up. Again, 
we think about this when is konami going to be reprinting this this weird card right it's a very niche card doesn't really have an archetype i think people were clamoring for an archetype now that this is released so just a, a little heads up there i'm not saying buy it but if you need it buy, maybe buy it before it's too late right because there's 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 hype and if there's hype there's going to be buyouts anyways guys i hope you enjoyed that it's a little bit different you know some more uh, nostalgia crap that I've been noticing that has been uh, jumping in the in the, the value department here, and of course I had to take a look back at this this tin because it. I mean the metrics say it, guys. It the set didn't flop, and Konami didn't learn a lesson, so we got to try harder next time, boys. All right, catch you guys in the next one. Big thank you to the channel members Eric Moreno and Burn My Dread. You guys rock.